In this video, we're going to use the TradingView technical analysis package in Python to check for information using TradingView. And TradingView is going to give us a buy signal or a sell signal or a neutral signal. So I already created a new folder in my projects folder, TradingView-TA. And I will create a new file, TradingView TA. B. And we need to import from trading here TA. So if you haven't installed this, we need to do here pip install trading view TA. It's not, it's not going to do anything anymore because I already have it, requirement already satisfied. Um, but you probably won't have this package. And I will import TA handler, I will import interval, and I will import the exchange. And maybe I will import the complete package if we forgot something. And I will also import pandas as PT because we're gonna we're gonna wrap our data into a data frame. I'm gonna create a new cell and I'm gonna create an object, handler object. And it's going to be TA handler. I will open parentheses, and we need to give we need to pass in a few parameters. So we need to pass in the symbol, which is the ticker. And let's say I will take Google as an example. And we need to pass in the exchange. And Google is in the Nasdaq, so we'll say Nasdaq. Oh, I forgot to add a comma. And we need to pass in the screener, which is the country, and it's America. Oh, America. We need to pass in the interval, and the interval is, uh, we don't need to use parentheses for that, so we'll say interval dot interval. Okay, so I will also take daily data here, so one day. Uh, we can find the documentation on. Wait, maybe I will. I will check the website and. So if we search in Google TradingView TA library Python, uh, the first and the second actually, and the third, are all information on this package. So there are many things we can do with it. I'm only going to give a small presentation. I'm going to give a small introduction on what we can do with it, but it's, it's unlimited what we can achieve with this uh, package. So I'm going to continue. Okay, and now we need to add yet one parameter, timeout equals to none. All right, so I'm going to create a new cell and I'm going to call for the handler object and create another cell. And now I'm going to do analysis equals to handler dot get analysis and it's a build-in function and I'm going to give a summary. I'm going to ask a summary for it. And now if I'm going to print this variable, it's going to give me a buy or a sell signal. So maybe first I'm going to run my cells. So the recommendation for Google is to buy. We have 12 buy signals, four sell signals, and 10 neutral signals. Okay, so this is this we did with one asset, and but we can also pass in an array of different tickers. So let's say I will say Google that I did, and I'll say maybe Tesla. Microsoft and maybe Apple and now we're going to ask information of those four assets so I'm going to create a for loop and I'm going to look through it I'm first going to create a, a dictionary 
an empty uh, array which is gonna which gonna be a dictionary and it's gonna store all this information of the different assets that I'm gonna download so I'm gonna say for symbol in symbols and I'm gonna just copy and paste this code here and the only thing I'm gonna change here is symbol which will be symbol because I say for symbol in symbols, so it will take each symbol and it will loop through it. And the only problem we have here is that we should use all stocks that are on the NASDAQ because here we need to give a, an exchange. I, I don't know if, if we can, um, how we can adjust this if we are if we are mixing New York Stock Exchange with NASDAQ and maybe even Euronext in Europe uh, or the Indian Stock Exchange, um, I think we will have to order them and we cannot mix them in one loop. Uh, but I will check this package further and maybe I will make another video of it. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna print some statements and I'm gonna say print and working on the symbol so he's going to say which one he's downloading and i'm going to say analysis equals to handler gets analysis and summary and maybe i'm also going to print this so print and recommendations and also comma analysis and now i'm going to append it to the array that i created so i'm going to say dot append analysis okay so now he's going to store all the information in this empty array and I'm going to run it. I'm going to run my symbols array and I'm going to run my for loop. And he's working on Google, Tesla, Microsoft and Apple. He's finished. So everything is a buy today. That's interesting. Based on technical indicators. So this is not based on fundamental information or something. Just on the technical indicators. He's using, I think, more than, more than 100 technical indicators. So... Okay, so now the next thing we need to do, so when, when, we, when we call for this variable, it says recommendation, recommendation, but we don't know for what ticker. So we need to, this is a dictionary, so we need to transform this dictionary into a data frame, and we have to add this list to our data frame. So we know that we have a buy for the Apple, for example, or we have a sell for Google, yeah, we have four buys now, so it's not really a problem. But imagine if we're looping through 2,000 symbols of the NASDAQ, uh, yeah, the, they won't be all 2,000 to buy signal. And we need to know which ticker is buy and which ticker is sell. So I'm gonna change, uh, I'm gonna adjust this dictionary to a data frame, and I'm gonna say df equals to pd.dataframe dot from dict so from dictionary and I'll pass in the variable recommendation which is a dictionary and I will, I will create a new cell to view the data frame okay so this is our data frame and now we're gonna add a new column to it with our symbols so I'm gonna create a new cell and I will call the variable first to see it if it's everything is okay yet okay so we need to make sure that google is one tesla two microsoft three and apple is four and it will be anyway in this order uh, i will say df ticker equals two symbols it's very straightforward actually and i'll call again for the df then so all right, so now we have our ticker column and now we know that Google is a buy 12 buy signals 
Tesla 14 by signals, Microsoft 14 by signals, and Apple 13 by signals. And that's how we can use the TradingView technical analysis library to find our trading signals. Those are not uh, historically proven, so it's only a um, signal of today. Uh, we don't know if this signal is giving good or bad trading decisions, so this is only for educational purposes only. I don't know if we're gonna buy Tesla right now, that tomorrow it's gonna go up. Uh, yeah, it's only an indication of the technical analysis from TradingView.